If you're looking for some fun adventures, look no further than the Museum of Science. Mike Randall takes us inside to get a sneak peek at some of the behind the scenes action now available to visitors. It may be one of the most fascinating places in Buffalo, or one of the strangest. Some of these species used to live in the Great Lakes and now they don't. We are behind the scenes at the Buffalo Museum of Science where you never know what you'll encounter next. This is a, a two-headed calf um, which was actually um, born locally on a, in Lancaster, New York. Catherine Leacock, Deputy Director of Collections, says the next two-hour behind-the-scenes tour is April 27th and it's called cabinets of curiosity. On that tour you'll see um, pretty much our entire vertebrate zoology department, uh, scientific specimens, but also some of the more kind of fun and quirky curiosities. This is an effort to let the visitors follow the science to the inner workings of the museum. And if you like all this behind the scenes stuff, you're going to love the museum's new initiative called Collections Live. Paige Langley is collections manager of zoology, and yes, that is a dead squirrel she's handling. Tail length, you put the ruler at the base of the tail. It's Paige's job to catalog and prepare specimens, preserving flesh, skin, and bones, a messy endeavor the public is invited to see. I'll be preparing specimens out in public so people can come in and watch the whole process from beginning to end. This is not for the squeamish, but if you want, you can roll up your sleeves and get in on the action. Uh, and if you're interested in learning how to do this, I do take volunteers. Collections Live is Fridays from 10 until 1. Pages handiwork will be stored in the cabinets of curiosity, available to students and other researchers. Everything is cataloged and organized, so we have a database that tells us what is in which cabinet. Catherine says the behind the scenes tours are perfect for date night. If you are uh, looking for something different to do with your uh, new romance. And when it comes to collections live, cataloging specimens, Paige shares this piece of advice. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't try this at home. Mike Randall, 7 News, Buffalo. Uh, not going to try that at home or ever, but it's science. It's science, something you know a little bit about, Michelle. Yeah, no, I used to be a biochem major, and for those reasons, is why I changed to physics. Uh, mm -mm -mm. It probably smells. Doesn't smell, folks. Anyways, let's get to the winds. It is gusty.